Hi, my name is Shalina and uh, I'm going to attempt to uh, lead you in a time of praise and worship. I've got my guitar here. I'm not the best, but if I make mistakes, uh, please don't get distracted. This is not a performance. So I really hope that wherever you are, you will be able to pray with me and sing along with me. Um, I just want to share with you uh, a story from the Bible. It's about Paul and Silas. And um, we know that when Paul and Silas were um, talking about Jesus Christ publicly, there were some people who did not like it, like the Jews, and they put them in prison and they were tortured. And um, it was during those times when uh, Paul and Silas uh, were just praising and thanking God at the top of their voice. And um, as we know afterwards, what happened was the doors of the prison were broken and they were set free. Yeah, even in my life personally, I can see that when I choose to turn my uh, focus on God and just keep my eye on him and focus on him, I can see that even my suffering is turned for something that is good for me. So even the, the evil that was intended for me is turned for my good. And this is the reason why I choose to praise and thank God, even in, in every situation, in good times, in bad times, at all times. Um, and um, I really hope that uh, it, you will also be able to um, praise and thank God in every situation of your life. Um, so uh, the first song that you know I'm going to start off with is um, is talking about the the how good and mighty our God is, um, and and that's the reason why we praise Him. Uh, you know, everywhere um, I go, I share three things that our God is a faithful God. Uh, he's a cheerful giver and is an awesome planner. But I also want to add today that he's also a strong, powerful and mighty God. And um, and, and above that, he, he is a loving God who uh, loves each one of us in a personal way. Praise, stand up and give him, stand up and give him the praise. 
Father God, I praise and I thank you for being a good and loving God. For all those times when even I did not know you, you loved me from the very beginning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you never abandoned me, even in the most uh, difficult time when I was uh, resistant, when I was uh, unfaithful to you. You still chose to love me. Thank you, God. Lord Jesus, I know that you have created each one of us with a specific purpose and a plan. Lord Jesus, today, I just want to thank you creating me so beautifully and perfect, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful creation, Lord. Thank you for everything that you have blessed us with, our families, our friends, food, shelter. Jesus, I acknowledge you as the one true God. You are a mighty savior who can move mountains. Lord, I thank you so much. Because of you, I can boldly proclaim with full courage that I have nothing to fear. Thank you, Lord, for instilling this courage. Thank you, Lord, for being a good, good father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The reason why um, I uh, choose to follow Christ is because it's not just all about the suffering of Christ, but actually he's a God who rose from the dead and, and there is good news. He is a God who is not a God of the dead. He is a God of the living. And He knows every desires of our heart. And today, let us um, uh, uh, acknowledge this God who is good, who is risen. And He lives amongst us. He knows our suffering. He knows our challenges, our trials. And he says that, do not be afraid, I am with you and I will go with you everywhere. Today let us celebrate Jesus, the, the God who rose and gave us a new life, a life of freedom, a life of abundance. Celebrate. 
yes, we have every reason to celebrate this God who is the true and living God who walked on this earth 2,000 years ago healing the sick giving sight to the blind and we have every reason to proclaim and celebrate this risen God who died for us who walked on this earth and lived for us and showed us how to live and today he is risen and he walks in the midst of us today he can move the mountains we can still see this God who can perform miracles so let us not put our focus on what is happening around us on the fears on the struggles on our own challenges on our own weakness but let us put our fears uh, let us put our trust our focus on this God Because he can move the mountains and he is the one that can change our life he's the one who can turn our morning into dancing he can he's the one who can bring us from darkness into light he's a merciful God a forgiving God all you got to do is just turn to him. Behold, I stand at the door knocking. Today, this God is calling you and me to open the door of our hearts, to let him in. He's ready to pour out his love, his mercy, his compassion. But only if we give him a chance. This God is a God who is mighty to save. He's a God who is ready to forget every sin of yours and mine. He's a God who is ready to embrace us wholeheartedly. We don't even have to say anything. All we got to do is take the first step towards Him. If you want to see the salvation of this God, if you want to see the greatness, the goodness, the power and the might of this God, then let Him in into your life today.
Jesus is a God who can move the mountains, who can turn your every suffering into joy. He is a God who is ready to pick you up in whatever situation, in whatever condition, in whatever state you are in at the moment. And He's ready to embrace you. And you know why? Because He calls us His child. He says, You are my child and I love you. Imagine having this God who is above the most wisest, the most intelligent human being. No one compares to this God. And this God is calling you, he's calling you and saying that you are my child. question is, are we ready to give this God a chance? He calls each one of us today. Let us leave behind everything that's bothering us, our sins, our failures, our sins from the past, the feeling of being rejected, the anger, the impure thoughts, anything that holds us down. Today this God says, come to me and I will give you rest. This God, Jesus Christ, died for you and for me. He died and he paid all our sins. why today me and you can cry out to this God and say, oh God, I love you. Make me your instrument. Make me a channel of your grace. Oh Lord, I want to be your child. I want to be everything that you created me to be. Lord, but my sin holds me down. My weakness stops me from following you and coming after you. Oh Lord, pour out your grace and your strength into my life. Here I am, Lord. I open the door of my heart and I let you in. I've been running away from you for many years. Lord, but today I want to stop running. I'm tired of running, Lord. Lord, today I choose to run towards you, not away from you. But Lord, I need your help. Will you help me, Lord? Here I am, Lord, your child. Wash me, cleanse me, transform me, purify me. Lord, I want to run into your arms. Lord, I've run after many things till this day. I've run after money after comforts, after the worldly pleasures. But I find no satisfaction, Lord. So today, Lord, I decide and I make this decision to run into your arms where I find peace and comfort.
as we continue to be in the presence of God, I want you to just be still in His presence and let Him love you. Let Him embrace you. Let Him mold you and transform you to be more like Him. Here I am, Lord. Let me be loved by you so that I can radiate this love, this joy to others around me. Let's just take a moment of silence. experience the love of this Father. Thank you. 
everything that we do. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me uh, in this time of praise and worship. I hope it, this has helped you and I hope you will be able to continue to praise and thank God. God bless you.